Okay, so this is how we're gonna go ahead and start taking down our locks. The first thing you want to do that I haven't shown is you want to moisturize your lock with water and some conditioner. And you wanna take that in your hand and you wanna rub it all up and down the lock to kind of get it saturated. Then you're gonna take your rat tail comb like I'm doing here, and you're gonna start from the bottom and start to go ahead and just slide the comb through and get any of those tangles out. Now it might look like I'm being a little bit rough, but I'm really not because any of the dead hair that you see coming out is really, that's just what it is, it's dead hair. It's Especially near the ends because that's the oldest part of your hair. I have a big knot right here that I'm trying to work through and you're going to have a lot of smaller tangles and bigger knots as you work your way up and once you get those kind of loose and adjusted then you can kind of slide through and make it a lot easier to remove. So you're going to keep doing that process and work all the way up the shaft of the lock. You want to make sure you periodically use some water and conditioner to keep your lock saturated and hydrated. And make so as you can see this is what it looks like when I've gotten the first lock combed out. Um, I have a lot of stretch, which is really awesome because I didn't think I would have that coming out of two years of having my hair locked up. I still have a lot of length retention and it's pretty strong. It's not breaking, it's not snapping, and it's just curling back on itself. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm showing you guys how I kind of kept the hair out of the way as I was working through this. So what I did was I would comb out each lock and then in order to kind of preserve the style, because I still had to go to work during the days that I was doing this and I couldn't show up with half afro, half locks. That's just not a good look. So I would take some water and I'm taking a little bit of conditioner, that's what you saw me put on my hair. And I'm running it along the length of the strands of loose hair from the root to the base and I'm sorry the end and I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to twirl it around and pretty much give myself a finger coil situation and what that's going to do is it kind of mimics the look of locks but it's pretty much undetectable it So now I'm halfway through with my hair and this is after I've put in all the coils. So this is all loose hair that I've just coiled back together. And my hair is really stretchy, it's actually felt really soft and felt really healthy and I was really excited about that. I don't have any bald spots, any parts of hair that you're seeing are from my undercut that I had and that I got redone. So I was really feeling confident about this as I was going through. Alright so moving on a little bit, now I've got all of my locks out and nothing but these little coil twists. And I'm going to take some of my conditioner and show you guys how I detangle. So you can literally use any kind of conditioner that you want. I just wanted the most moisturizing one that I could find because my hair needed moisture. And I'm just going to take it and run it all the way through from the base of my head all the way down to the ends of those coils. And what you want to do is really make sure you saturate all of them. Then you're going to take each coil. And you're going to take your finger and split it in two. So you're pretty much uncoiling it from where it was. You want to be careful with this because your hair will not up at the end. It's very possible as you saw them right there. And you really just want to go through and kind of pull that out the way. taking all of the coils out my hair is super shrunken and but it's really full and it's really just really soft it looks kind of crazy because I got some spots that are uneven but we'll take care of that in the next go round and of course I had to give y'all a little shaky shake this is after I washed it and I did like a braid out and it was flowing I was so happy <laughs> And this is just how I wore my hair the next day because I was going to the salon after work. So I had a little puff going on. And now my stylist, Norman, he's just going through. He's already washed and conditioned my hair and done a protein treatment. He's just blow drying it so you can prepare to trim. And this is what my hair looked like after Norman blow dried it and everything. So I got a style. And what he did, he just slicked it up on the sides. And he did two big braids in the back and two smaller braids in the front and he gave me a twisted bun on top and I was so in love with this hairstyle I think I'm gonna get it again it's probably gonna be a go-to for mine and I really enjoyed it and it was really awesome I plan on probably getting a lot of protective styles in the future just to make sure that I'm keeping my hair healthy and out of my face and so I'm not doing a lot of manipulation to it 
until I get to like a certain area where I feel comfortable with manipulating my hair more often. But that's how all that worked. That's the process of my lock takedown. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And be on the lookout for more videos coming soon. Until next time, see y'all later.